It's Christmas, David! By David Shannon. At Christmas time, everyone always said, No, David! Cole. No peeking! Oh my gosh, you guys, David might fall and hurt himself off that stool. Oh, it'll be worth it. Yeah, he's gonna see his present. Yeah, but he could injure himself. Yeah, but he's gonna get to see what he's getting for Christmas before, before Christmas. Christmas! Guys, it's probably gonna be a neck brace. Cool! <laughs> No snitching. Those are not toys. Yeah, David, those go on the tree. Mm, to be fair, those look like toys. They're toys. Okay, we'll just play with them for a minute. Yeah, just okay. a minute. <laughs> Santa's watching, David. You guys. What? It's a butt! It's, it's a, a butt! butt. <laughs> Seriously, somebody get him a coat. He's going to catch cold. What if he slips? That's no protection. <laughs> Be patient. Hurry up. Guys, there's some ridiculous requests on that Christmas list. <laughs> like Ferrari, give me a break. <gasps> Ferrari! Please, oh, come on, Santa, please. please, please. Do you know what the insurance is on that? Please. Craig. David. David. Naughty list. Naughty list. Naughty list. Hey, guys. It's P! It's P! <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, you should not pee outside. Pee in the toilet. Okay. That's what it's for. You're ruining the fun. Santa's gonna bring you a lump of coal! <laughs> ah! uh -oh. Leg! Don't start yet! Seat your grandmother. No yawning at the dinner table. That's the wrong fart. Sit up straight! Don't reach! Put your napkin in your lap! Get your elbows off the table! No, David, you may not open one early. Go to sleep, David. No Christmas for you, David. Dear David, sorry you were naughty. Love, Santa Claus. This is really sad. I mean, David's just trying to be good, but he's a little boy. It's normal. Yeah. I mean, his elbows are just on the table for a second. Like, give him a break. Oh, now you don't, don't, don't care. Now reason. you don't care yeah, about the elbows. Right? Like, no, <laughs> <let> me... <laughs> Wake up, David. You were dreaming. He was dreaming. Whoa. What? Yes, David. It's Christmas! Yay! Dear David, Merry Christmas! Love, Santa Claus! Well, it all worked out well in the end. He was a little bit naughty, but he got everything on his Christmas list. Not the Ferrari. Didn't get the Ferrari. You're gonna pout because you didn't get a Ferrari? Sounds like a couple naughty kids who deserve lumps of coal! No! No! no God, please! please. Ferrari. It's Christmas, David! By David Shannon. Pete the Cat Saves Christmas! Art by James Dean. Story by Eric Litwin. And then you win. Twas the day before Christmas and Santa was ill. In the cold winter wind, he had caught a bad chill. Will Christmas be canceled? Will it come to that? Never, cried Santa. Let's call Pete the Cat. Santa asked Pete to deliver the toys to all the good girls and to all the good boys. Whoa. That was a close one. Wow, that was so close. We almost lost Christmas. Did I write my letter for nothing? Thank goodness for Pete the Cat jumping mm -hmm. in on short notice, you know? Yeah. Is it too short notice, though? I mean, Pete the Cat rides a surfboard, not a sleigh, Craig. Is he up for delivering all those presents? I'm pulling for you, Pete, but it's not looking good. Come on. Save Christmas. Come on, Pete. I'll do it, said Pete. And although I'm small, at Christmas we give, so I'll give it my all. Give it your all, give it your all. At Christmas we give, so give it your all. Give it all, Pete. We're counting on you, buddy. You got it. Key West. Pete jumped in his minibus and started to roll. Road trip, cried Pete. First stop, the North Pole. North Pole. The reindeer were waiting to give Pete a tow. 
So he packed up the presents and told them to go. Then the minibus flew, just like in a movie. Pete the Cat cried, This is totally groovy. I can do it, said Pete. And although I'm small, at Christmas we give, so I'll give it my all. Give it your all, give it your all. At Christmas we give, so give it your all. You got it, Pete. We believe in you, buddy. Yeah. We're pulling for you, Petey. Yeah. As the children were sleeping all snug in their beds, Pete and his reindeer appeared overhead. Straight down the chimney, Pete flew in a dash, then back in his minibus, quick as a flash. Each time he delivered a holiday gift, he crossed off a name written on Santa's list. Abby. Santa's list was so big and Pete felt so small, but at Christmas we give, so he gave it his all. Five, six, seven, eight, give it a roll, give it a roll. At Christmas we give, so give it a roll. I mean, you, you better give it, Pete. I don't know where this is going. Give it all. Yeah, yeah, we're pulling for you, Pete. Give it. Okay. All of it. Okay, we got it. At the very last minute, they reached the last house. Pete dashed in and out, just as quiet as a mouse. Then right at the break of the new Christmas day, Pete and his reindeer were flying away. North Pole's Toys, Inc. Back at the North Pole, old Santa was waiting. The elves and the townsfolk were all celebrating. Thank you, Pete. Small is cool. Santa was dressed in his red coat and hat and cried, Hip hip hooray for our friend Pete the Cat. I did it, said Pete. And although I'm small, in the spirit of Christmas, I gave it my all. And in the spirit of this book, I'm going to give it my all. Oh, no. At Christmas, we're good. Oh, good. I oh. oh my gosh, <laughs> I, that didn't make any sense. Thank you, <laughs> Ryan. I mean, I gotta say, you gave it your all. Thanks, man. Maybe too much. Maybe you gave more than your all. Take a little nap. Okay. Good job, Pete and Ryan. Give it your all. Okay. Wow. Pete, Pete the cat saves Christmas. The, the Christmas, Christmas Selfie Contest by Rosie Greening, illustrated by Claire Fennell. In a big, busy workshop with shelves full of toys, the elves worked their socks off and made lots of noise. They hammered and clattered and chattered and played and worked as a team on the toys that they made. But Alfie was different from all of the rest. He didn't like teamwork he liked being best. He'd boast about all of the toys he'd create, then show them to everyone shouting, I'm great! Oh man, he makes the best toys! They look pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He should be yeah. proud. Yeah, I mean, should he be a little less boastful? Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> He's awesome! One morning, the elves were so sick of his talk, the head elf said, Alfie, please go for a walk. So Alfie went out to the gingerbread store and noticed a poster he'd not seen before. It said, Santa is holding a selfie contest, so send in your photos and he'll pick the best. A selfie contest in the North Pole? Guys, can we still submit? <gasps> oh, Craig, get your phone. Take a picture, take a picture. Hold Quick. on, here we go. Oh. Here we go, you ready? One, two, three. Young Alfie was certain he'd win it with ease. I'll take the best selfie. It sounds like a breeze. He told all his friends, but they just got annoyed. There's no time for selfies. We need to make toys. Young Alfie ignored them and all of their fears. He wanted to try out some selfie ideas. He ran to the polar bears chilling outside. Please pose for a selfie, he eagerly cried. The bears made a tower and Alfie yelled, Gee! 
please. But one of the polar bears just had to sneeze. Achoo! So Alfie rushed off to a whale in the sea. He said, will you pose for a selfie with me? But as Alfie's camera went off with a flash, the whale spurted water on him with a splash. Then as it grew darker, two owls fluttered past. Will you take a selfie with me? Alfie asked. The group had a hoot, but it still wouldn't do. The sky was too dark and the selfies were too. Ooh, not going well. Every time Alfie tries to take a selfie, something bad happens. Okay, I'm just gonna say it, guys. Should he just quit and go back and help out with the other elves? It's kind of the right thing to do. Mm, nah. <laughs> Oh, no. He needs to get this picture. Yeah, you know what they say. If at first or second, second or third, or third you don't succeed, show selfie, selfie again. again. Yeah, that's I think what that's they what they say. say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Say. Poor Alfie ran back to the workshop in tears. I thought I would win, but I'm out of ideas. Forget about selfies, the other elf said. Let's finish these toys with some teamwork instead. The elves got to work, and at last Alfie saw. When they worked as a team, they could do so much ma. Um, Craig? What? The word is more. Yeah, but it has to rhyme with saw, so I changed it. But the word is more. And you might be confusing some of our audiences by saying ma. I want toys. Good point. Okay, yeah, fair, fair. They sanded and painted with painstaking care. And soon, there were colorful toys everywhere. Wet paint? The workshop looks magical, young Alfie said, and then an idea popped into his head. Let's pose for a selfie, he said with a grin. With all of us in it, this selfie could win. I love Santa. He sent off the selfie, and to his surprise, he got a reply saying, You've won first prize. Your prize is a sleigh ride with Santa himself. Congrats on your selfie. You're one lucky elf. Young Alfie was thrilled and he knew what to do. He showed all his friends and said, You should come too. When Santa arrived in his beautiful sleigh, the elves clambered in. Then they went on their way. And as Santa's reindeer soared into the skies, young Alfie was glad they had all shared his prize. The Alpic was too dark. The little bear sneezed. The whale sprayed water on little Alfie. We thought we'd be disqualified, but no, not today. We, we all took a ride on Santa's sleigh. We all took a ride on Santa's sleigh. The end. The, the Christmas, Christmas Selfie Contest by Rosie Greening, illustrated by Claire Fennell. The, the Night, Night Before, Before Christmas. Christmas, the classic edition, by Clement C. Moore, illustrated by Charles Santore. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, okay, when I hear a clatter, I'm the first one out of bed. And I'm right behind and I am saying, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Nothing's getting past us on our lawn. No. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I knew in a second it was St. Nick. In a moment, who's that? St. Nick. Once I heard the clatter, I'm like, it's probably St. Nick. Who's that little old driver, St. Nick? Eight tiny reindeer, St. Nick. St. Nick. 
More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. I'm in spite of myself, though. I don't want to be laughing, but I can't help it. <laughs> look at that jolly old elf. Oh, look at that belly, just like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> uh, spite. <laughs> a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I heard it. I heard it too. In sight, out of sight. I'm gonna hear Merry Christmas every time you say it. The moment Merry Christmas left your lips, I was like, I hear it. On the roof, in the yard, bowl full of jelly, doesn't matter. We heard it in a moment. And it made me jolly. <laughs> <laughs> in spite of ourselves. The, the Night, Night Before, Before Christmas. Christmas. The classic edition. By Clement C. Moore. Illustrated by Charles Santore. <laughs> Thank you.